order to provide fresh, relevant content for users of your website, you will want to update information regularly. Edline makes it simple to do just that. You can quickly add content anywhere on your website, and it all starts with the Edit This Page button, located here in the menu bar. Once you click Edit This Page, depending on which box you select, you can add content using the Add Item or Quick Add buttons. When you click Add Item in certain boxes on your web page, such as the Contents box or a folder displayed in Standard View, you can select from a palette containing different content types and configure a whole range of options for your content. If you need to add a document to your website, but the file does not already exist in a Word, PDF, or some other file format, Edline allows for you to create it using what we call a document page. For this example, I'll demonstrate adding a document page to a folder. Open the folder, and then click Edit This Page. Next, click Add Item. From the Add Item palette, select Document Page. Enter a title for your document, and then click Create Now. Now you are ready to add your content. To add the content, click within the text area. You will notice that the document page features an inline editor so you can see exactly how the document will look to viewers of your website. You can format the content using different fonts, create lists or tables, and even add images or links within your document. When you are finished editing your content, click Save. If you would like for this document to be placed in multiple locations, you don't want to retype this information everywhere it needs it. Instead, use Edline's multi-post feature to add the same document everywhere you need to share the content. For document pages, you can also enable and configure the commenting feature allowing users to add comments to the document page. When you are finished, click Save and Return. And that's how you add existing documents or create new documents on your website.